Tomorrow morning, the two suspects accused in the downtown Seattle shooting that killed one person and injured several others will face an extradition hearing. The pair were arrested after making their way from Seattle to Las Vegas. Police and U.S. Marshals caught up with them at a hotel. Kyra 7's Allison Grandy has more on the arrest and what the owner of the McDonald's where the shooting happened is doing to help. The window here at the McDonald's is still boarded up more than a week and a half after the shooting. There are still flowers here left on the ground for the victim. But tonight, investigators say the men responsible are no longer on the run. We believe it was in Vegas around January 26. Marquise Latrell Tolliver and William Ray Tolbert were captured on Saturday as they left the Rio Hotel in Las Vegas. U.S. Marshals say they tracked them down after spotting them first on Saturday morning. They got a team together and moved in. The most dangerous part is the moment that the fugitives realize that they caught. The pair was on the run since the deadly shooting in Seattle on January 22nd. Eight people were shot, one was killed. Tanya Jackson was 50 years old. The youngest victim was nine year old Judah, released from the hospital 48 hours after he was shot. Worked together to take down the individuals while they was walking somewhere near the Rio Hotel. On Saturday, when more than a dozen law enforcement officers moved in, Tolliver and Tolbert were not armed and no weapons were recovered. They did have an associate with them. I was very relieved to see that we've captured the fugitives and that they will be brought back to Seattle to face justice. The pair are in jail in Las Vegas and will be extradited back to Seattle. The timeline is still in the works. Today, the owner of the McDonald's, David Santelanes, donated $20,000 to the victims. There were two reasons for the donation, quite frankly. One is compassion for the victims and to try and give them, give them a, a little bit of a hand. The other is hopefully to stimulate a conversation amongst the rest of the business people down here in the corridor. When I asked him whether or not the McDonald's is a nuisance property or should be closed. We are not the problem. We do what we have to do. We have security in the building. We push out the, the element, the bad element, and there's no cops on the street to, to clean the streets off because their hands are tied. He said he blames city leaders for not having police enforce laws like loitering and trespassing. Now, those suspects are expected in court in Las Vegas tomorrow morning. That's when we'll get a better idea when they'll be extradited back here to Washington. In Seattle, Allison Grandy, Cairo 7 News.